Sock puppet hounds. All right. We've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, so I must apologize in advance for the obscenity you're about to endure. Who's in charge of the pencil case? The ruler. There. I never really seem to have the time. I'm good. Can't hide from me. Mind you, I haven't tried putting two in a single enclosure yet. Stop these. Oh, whoops. A little before that. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> Not what I was going for, Aloy. I'll save this for a dire. That's what I wanted. What were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I helped defend this grove. I'm not your enemy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow, I'm really accumulating inspiration. I might as well. I would like to see what she has to say. Seriously? Okay. That's better. Folks, don't make me shoot you. I just don't use them very much myself. Oh. Wow. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, I love this. Okay, I should have given him a vibroblade a long time ago. If you'll pardon the phrasing, he's a frickin' beast with a vibro sword. Holy crap! Push power button. Push auto nav button. Pull throttle. <laughs> Please buckle your seatbelt first. Buckle seatbelt. Done. Pull throttle. Your door is a jar. No, my door is a door. Close pod door. Done. Pull. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was literally typing it. Gosh, Roger, it would appear you have met an untimely demise. With the explosive destruction of the Arcata, you become part of a fresh collection of space debris. 
God, that was amazing. See, I'm not the only one. The NCPD does it too. Oh, you are so lucky. And holy crap, that right gulp. Let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied but I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials quickly <laughs> I won't bother checking no nope. no nope, Cassandra no damn it you Why aren't you the clumsy one? Because of your inability to walk without falling on your face, your helmet is now riding the elevator without you. You've blown your cover. The Sarians are sure to shoot first and ask questions later. Oh no, they failed to notice my hands. Maybe they won't notice my face. <laughs> what is this? She's ignoring it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. I appreciate that. Oh my god, what on earth? Wow. <laughs> I'm not finding that body. <laughs> oh my god, the charging of the boar. Oh, oh. That, that was a little eerie. What the hell? What is wrong with this blasted thing? A blank? There better be a second round in here. Otherwise, it'll be plan B for you, I'm afraid. Ah, that's got it. Here we go. <laughs> ah, golden duck, cracking job. There you go. So, the missing handle was booby trapped? What did you do? Well, I use my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> then I use my cleverness to hide. Rude. 
What the hell? Gotcha. Now we've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke. Brace yourselves. How did the police end up catching the man who was on the run in the bathroom? He stood on a set of scales and gave himself away. Oh, oh no! It's fine. That was very discreet. Master of stealth. Right, now just a bit more. Mm. <laughs> oh, look at this. Okay, here's your Jeffrey's tubes. That's hilarious. I love it. You have no idea. I do. A good one. But it works. <laughs> Find a single silver coin, carefully polish it, and place it in your pouch. What a way to make a living. But this one here, this is not a shuttle. I mean, it, it's comparable. It's considered to be a sort of shuttle, but this is a Federation runabout, if I'm not mistaken. I love that you can get so up close to it. Look at that. That looks so nice. Ugh. They've done some good stuff with this just since the time I've been away. Free once more. My driven acquaintance. She's my acquaintance. Saga has been released from her imprisonment at the hands of King Cossetin and is once again free. I have released your acquaintance from my prison to serve as my concubine. The foul fiend. Wow. This game is not so much a war game as a drama game. Holy crap. She's not considered my spouse anymore. Come on, Mako, you can do it. Make your forebears proud. There we go. Crap. <laughs> oh, that was a great one. Oh, you're still with us. Take a swim. Maritime Measures In the great maritime city of Babylon, the introduction of standardized units has not been well received. Already mistakes have been made with quantities of materials and engineering calculations. Shipbuilders and merchants alike warn that their commercial interests will be harmed if they are forced to adopt the new measurements. Should they be given an example? Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. How's everybody doing tonight? Wow, we've got quite the crowd this evening. Aranor, Three Winters, Sketchy, Greeny, and Stara. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone's doing all right. We are going to be doing some more Charity Skyrim this evening. Yes, uh, Crusader King 3 definitely seems like a drama game to me, which is not any kind of complaint. I think it's awesome. So, 
get into the game. I think we've got a good start tonight. I kind of feel like I've uh, ruined the month of fundraising so far. Uh, not entirely my fault, but not entirely not my fault either. And we'll have to see how this goes, but I think we're off to a good solid start tonight. We'll, we'll see how that all goes. Uh, thank you for the shout out, Erinor. I appreciate that. Yes, please. Uh, I expect pretty much everybody who's here at the stream at this time is probably already following Greeny, but just in case we do I've have some new back. lurkers. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to find the mod that gets rid of this crap. That's okay. I'll do that later. Make sure you go give Greeny a follow. Okay, now, I saw something in chat before I started about a queue building. And I thought I saw Winters. You said something about completing the queue. Should I be wary? What did you guys do? What's my carry weight? I'm really close to my carry weight. I should probably drop stuff off. Let's not loot the chest. I want to drop crap off. Metal bang can go. Reanimation. Seeker knife. Wicked dagger. How did I get all this crap? What the heck? I don't remember picking most of this up. Command horns for Vilia. Got it. How's it going, Vikings? I mean, aside from all those mud crabs last time, it depends on if it went through or not. Uh, well, tell me what it was, and I can let you know if it went through. Or at least I can try and figure out if it went through. Searching for Dwemer. I... Uh... Nobody told me that I could just do a text search. What the frack? Uh, no. It does not look like it went through. Let me pull up the crowd control thing and see if I can redeem that. Or uh, rather, retry it, perhaps? The crowd. Cued Dwemer's Curse. Oh, uh, you know what, though? It doesn't say that they've actually gone through. It says that they are queued. So they may still fire. Where'd you come from? That's my question. Oh my god. Can I please request that we not summon more animals inside the buildings? Just from a game-breaking bug standpoint, this is not good. I mean, I'm fine with the chaos element to it. I'm okay if I die. But... Just no more animals of any kind. I don't care how small they are. You are nothing but a stupid, stupid milk drinker. Now it did something. Come on, let's see you put up a fight. I still remember how to fight. Now I'm gonna get you. Oh boy. I don't think I need a cleanup mod. Maybe for the main room of the house, but that's about it. We did find out last night that there is indeed a mod that will get rid of the ghost arrows, but it's also almost certainly not going to be a real problem. 
maybe if I play for a million years. But it's the kind of thing that I would like to fix regardless. So I'm gonna do it. Oh, wait, mammoth tusks. I needed those. That the wait, there was another one? There's another mammoth? I've still got the clip and Sarah made of the indoor mammoth from Wrath of the Righteous. <laughs> That's the best you can do, huh? What did I just say, guys? I mean it. Please. No animals of any kind. I don't mean just mammoths. No mud crabs, no cows, no dogs, no chickens. Not inside. Stop. What is it? Cheese is fine. Ish. Let's get going. I wonder if that's got, oh, hang on. Maybe I can clear this. I don't think even I can clear it. I'm not sure if that's the mammoth or the mammoth corpse. It's the corpse. 64 megabyte decompressed file limit. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Need those. Yeah, that depends on being able to mark for delete, though. And I don't want to have to bother with all that crap. I would rather have a mod that takes care of the cleanup for me. Console commands and deleting things via them. That is a recipe for potential disaster. It can be very useful, don't get me wrong. But it can also be quite dangerous. Thank you, Greeny. I know it's got to be disorienting seeing me moving around at something resembling a normal that? movement rate. I don't blame you for this. Now, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to get up to today. We finished the main quest we were on yesterday, and by main quest, I don't mean the main story quest of the game. I mean, we were working on the Gilder Gleam stuff with Vilya and for what's-her-name in the city. I think we might actually head back to the Riften area and resume our wandering around at random 
we'll find some stuff to do in there. And maybe if we get lucky, we might encounter... Oh, I still have this set up. No, all right, whatever. I'm sure this won't be the last time that I need it. I did, Sketchy. drop wolves on Gord, I felt it was relevant. I mean, I guess you're not wrong. Bandits. shouldn't have pushed so hard. That's fine, Vilya. <laughs> Thank you, Sketchy. I know there's a giant that lives around here, and I think we probably want to kind of avoid his camp, so let's just pass through quickly and quietly. Stop doing or not. that you. Thank you, Winters. Oh. What do we have here? Well, this is not one of those things. Raven Scorn Spire? I don't think I want a human heart. I just wish I had more time to really 
I guess there's not much I can do here. Nope, Winters, you gotta be careful. I didn't mean the dragon, or the, uh, the giant's camp was that close. It was still a little distance away. I was trying to keep my distance, after all. Though, that said... You probably can't... Oh, shoot. Okay. Keeping my distance again. Um, you probably weren't that far off. It did say that the giant was too powerful to be affected by the Scroll of Madness. Which means that the giant was close enough to be affected by the Scroll of Madness. Thank you, Sketchy. Human hearts are decent. Damage, health, damage, magicka, damage, magicka, regen, and frenzy. Sure, but in every other sense, there is no possible way that carrying a human heart around is decent. Pretty much the exact opposite, in fact. that actually hit. That makes one of us greeny. I am not fond of them. They look really cool. I will give you that. But they are not nice. What's going on? Squanches over there. Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Oh, God. 
Thanks, guys. Oh. Just don't know when it's time to give up. Avoidum has a given. Very chickeny or something? I would expect no less. Good, in other words. Excellent. I'm glad to hear it. this be greetings sister you look weary I have something to help you relax if you're interested take a look there you go until sir. next time useful for alchemy. Um, Azolt. I would go clear that out, but you guys have pretty much taken care of that for me. One of those ingredients I was looking for. Isn't that great? Fantastic, Billia. So what's everyone up to for the weekend? I guess... For most of you, the weekend should be about half over. With certain exceptions, such as Greeny <laughs> and myself. that we have to go get it actually it looks like I might be able to get it more easily by going up this way
Or I suppose I could have climbed the readily accessible staircase. But uh, where's the excitement in that? Now I'm gonna get you. You're, You're as good as dead. The, they were sensible. Seven of a hundred and eight complete. Arc burn. Dog spells hitting targets that are not fire resistant cause a plasma that deals five points of unresistible fire damage per second for four seconds. I like it. We're doing it. <laughs> I think I need more sleep. Don't be all. Keep imagining there's a dragon around and hoping that it's the mechanical dragon. So far, no luck though. There's someone watching me. I can tell. It's probably Serana. I wouldn't worry about it. Thank you, Greeny. <laughs> you should put on something warm so that you don't catch a cold. Thank you, Vilia. Still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Everyone drink. Let's get going then. So I was reading about Vilya, and it's really neat. The whole option to tell her that you are lost was added because of Terry Pratchett's Alzheimer's. He was constantly forgetting how to get out of dungeons and the like, so they added that feature just for him? That's amazing.
literally just poured a glass of bourbon when you said to take a drink. That reminds me. <clears throat> I should do the same. How goes, Haggis? I hope your weekend is going well. We'll have to give that a shot at some point. Tell Vilya that we're lost and see how that works. antagonize the frost giant. Looks like he's got his hands full already. And still done. I think we've already done this place, if I'm not mistaken. Ah. The unmistakable signs that I've been here before. cheese Fairly well, Mr. Soggy Ramen, though the cheese explosions are getting to be a bit cumbersome. How are you doing this evening? Refuge. We are a good team. Don't you think so? I don't remember if we went into Robber's Refuge or not. Nice. Oh. I hear a thing. My cat hasn't been seen for six days now. I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Soggy Ramen. That's not good. Look over there. New world from. We did well. Don't you think so? Yeah, that could very well be Mr. Soggy Roman, but that doesn't make it better. Oh, damn it.
Did we? I think we did Champion's Rest, didn't we? Wasn't that the Umbra thing? Oh. These guys, leave some of them for me. Black Dragon Ninja Ninja Toe. Damn, that's a pretty nice one. Well, you never know, Mr. Soggy Roman. It's possible he'll wander his way back. Stone Cave. That one's not cleared. I think maybe we'll go check that out and see what's going on. When did you do it, Winters? Uh, that one actually probably did go through then, Winters. I've already had to give it to Serana, but I did end up with a pile of Dwemer stuff.
Hey, Jarek, how's it going? Jarek, do what you got to do. Now I'm curious. Clear I'm in the wrong spot, but that looks like a pathway. Which means we need to check it out. Looks like a bit of a steep pathway. I don't know if we can navigate it easily, but we'll find out. getting serious fall through the world vibes there so we're not gonna stick around thank you for the mud crab Jarek. not sure where it appeared Thank you, Winters.
No, thank you. Thank you, Winters. I appreciate that. Guardian? I'm still here. I've got your back. Hey. Our exit. Heavy spiked body shield. Stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? Okay, something did go through that I didn't notice because I don't remember having that much dwarven metal on me. Uthgird the Optimist, yes indeed.
Jack, Card of Shadows 2. Sealed Resolve. Yeah, it's a popular genre. There are lots of games out there that are similar in some ways to RimWorld. Search for the Vigilant of Stendar Caravan. What was this particular game sketchy? Well, yeah, but I'm still curious about the name. I can't really check Discord at the moment. Uh, Rana, what the heck? You have to go around creating random zombies. this caravan mark hmm not sure well we haven't done lost prospect mine either I think we should maybe go check that out No idea what triggered that. Lost prospect mine. This is supposed to be a gold mine, isn't it? Only that there is no gold inside it, of course. Then it's not really a gold mine, is it? Oh, you have a storm sketchy? I'm jealous.
not actually easy. quite fun. Weird that he wasn't immediately hostile. I wonder if that was supposed to be a story thing. Miner's journal. Oh, in game? I don't think there was a storm in game. It is not quite freezing here, but it's only a couple degrees above, so pretty close. Third of Hearthfire, fourth era 200. You know, just when you think you've hit bottom, sometimes the Aedra throw you a rope. Since the rebels took over the mines in these parts, I haven't been able to find work anywhere. And along comes Burn, my old partner, with a deed to some old gold mine out in the hills. Been too long since we did a job together. What, four years now? Nice to finally work with someone who knows the business. Sounds like the place was a steal, too. Second of Hearthfire, fourth era 200. No one sells a mine for a song. I figured the place would be in bad shape, but not this bad. Barely a glorified cave. There may have been gold here once, but we don't even have a vein to start with. We struck out at random. Three weeks digging the lower tunnel, but nothing to show for it yet. I don't think we were done. Fifteenth of first seed, fourth era 201. Nothing. No gold, no gems, no ore, not even any useful stone. The rocks around here crumble the moment you stack one on another. I'm ready to toss it in, but Burn wants to keep on going. Just a little farther, Hidrear. We're so close, Hidrear. <laughs> Burn wants me to head back to Riften for supplies next week. Might give me a chance to cool down. Twenty-ninth of first seed, fourth era 201. So I come back and nothing. No sign of burn. It's like he just up and left. No blood, no struggle. He just ran out on me, I suppose. I've waited three days, and he's not coming back. I'm going to head back to Riften and see if I can find him or find some other work there. No sense wasting any more time here. Burn, if you find this, I expected better from you. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. I have a present for you. It's something we often used at home when we wanted to talk and we were in a hurry. We call it the quick chat horn, and it's a bit complicated to explain what it does. Therefore, I've also written everything down for you. When you are in a hurry, there are things that you probably don't want to discuss with me. And as you know, I'm rather talkative. <laughs> if you use the quick chat horn instead, you can decide in advance what you're supposed to talk about when you call for me. It is a bit complicated. That's why I have written all the technical things down for you. I suggest that you read that before you try to use the horn. Then you will learn about that you have to have the horn as a favorite item, and that you need to use what we call a hotkey for it. If you want to, we can decide right away what topics you want to discuss when you use the horn. Else you can talk to me later about travel together, and then we can discuss the horn further. Okay. Once again, I will almost certainly never actually use that, but thank you, Vilya. I suppose you could maybe... Yeah. Ah, there we go. Out of the way. Guys, there we go. Thank you. God, I hope that the Starfield game 
has companions that are better about not blocking you at every single turn. Nope. Nope. Or maybe, at the very least, passages that are a little wider. That would also solve the problem. The Rana. Get your gigantic scroll out of my way. It makes a fantastic door or possibly a wall. Oh my god. Hitman does the same. A lot of games do the same. Oh God, they came in again. Would you please move? Uh. Oh good, I'm trapped right in between the two of them. I would appreciate that, Winters. That would probably be worth quitting the game, modding it, and then restarting for. This is why I laugh when people telling me that using so many companions makes the game easier. Nothing like a goose chase around the whole damned province. doesn't seem to have helped. Oh, what is it? What do you need? What now? Yes? What do you need? Nope, not helping. She may be stuck herself. I'm probably blocking her, and then Lydia is probably blocking her on the other side there. Or is that upgrade? We've stopped. What is it? Fine. What? What? No, not possible. That it? I guess that's it. We're stuck forever. Yes? We sad. talked about this. Please don't summon crap in really tight quarters. Bad enough already as it is. Yeah, I can't really check the Discord, though. I appreciate it, though, Winters. Do 
Yeah, just in case um, anybody wasn't here and missed the conversation, there was an incident earlier where not one but two mammoths were summoned inside one of my houses. Let's not ever summon animals inside houses again. Also, small spaces like this, I won't say don't ever summon anything. Mud crabs are probably fine in dungeons and other reasonable sized things, but let's at least attempt not to break the game. Yep, absolutely please, Winters. As long as, like, uh, it's information and not links, because I can't really do links either. Oh, did they actually move a little bit? I think they moved a huh? little bit. I might... Oh, oh, I'm making progress. Persistence pays off. I can quick save before I use Fusro Da. I can Fus. I can't row and I can't Da, and it's not powerful enough to move them. Get out of the way and move it, damn it. What do they do? Move it, damn it, sounds like a command, which would huh? be good. But get out of the way doesn't necessarily automatically imply anything. But both of them sound like things that should probably be an automatic get if you're dealing with this many companions at once. This mod gives you a spell effect that activates huh? when you sprint into an NPC. They will fall over, and while in their fall animation, you'll be able to move through them. It was specifically designed so that you can finally stop getting stuck. Okay. That's worth getting out of the game. Thank you, Aranor. I'm going to look up the other one. Move, damn it. Adds a spell to the game called Move, damn it. It's a lesser power. It can be used regardless of skill level. Passed from the voice slot. Adds a spell tome for the spell. Basically, a non lethal person flinger. I think I like the sound of the other one better. Okay. I am adding the mod. I like that they include two versions. I'm getting the version that does not require a book or a ring. That way I have it automatically. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I see what happened. Okay.
Okay. I had to disable an ESP. Hopefully that won't kill it. Oh, oh, thank you so much for moving out of my way. That was so easy. Okay. I'm not sure that was the mod at work, but it worked regardless. I will take it. I'm very confused now, though. I'm not sure exactly... How do we get to this lower level? I guess the next logical question, too, is how do I sprint? I think we're just going to get out of this cave. It seems like bad news all around. Hold down shift. No, I didn't, Jarig. Oh, okay. Sprinting works better when you're not also sneaking. It's just that the house is getting very, very full, and I'm getting kind of concerned about things breaking, and one of the mammoths that was summoned didn't fit properly, and so now we don't know where it actually is. So, just a rule for the future, please no more summoning stuff inside buildings. I mean, if it's like Castle Dawnguard or something. I found one of those ingredients I was looking for. That's Isn't great, Bilya. That great? If it's like Castle Dawnguard or something like that, and you want to summon a bunch of mud crabs, I guess that's probably okay, but small houses, maybe not such a great idea. And that's all animals. No dogs, no sheep, no cows, no nothing. I would really appreciate it. I know that kind of goes directly against your habit, Winters. I apologize for that, but it's just getting to be too much. Now, nah, that's cheaty, though, Vikings. I don't need that. Pardon me for asking, but are you sure that you know where we are going? Yes, we're going over there. No, I consider it cheaty. It's unnecessary. No need for it.
What do you mean coin spending, Bill Zerb? Oh, sorry, Bill. Sorry. Hydrate and neck stretch. I appreciate that. There we go. Speaking of taking care of myself, I should also probably take that break shortly. Now that you have the mod, I guess it doesn't matter, but there is a console command that would move them as well. Now, I don't like using console commands to move stuff around. Same as I was saying earlier, there's pretty decent potential for issues when you do that stuff. It can be incredibly useful and powerful, and the powerful part is the problem. Sorry, Vilya. You must admit that I'm not bad. That was Serana's thing. This is a surprise. Ow. Now, can I can 
finish stealing all this food in peace. You know, I kind of thought there was going to be something a little more sinister around here. Find someone who can identify the unusual gem. Legend of Crately House. Who's the bad guy? in history. According to the song, Michael Jackson is bad, yes. Very true. Seems like that's about that. The skooma is so far about the worst thing that we've found in this place. Why did I have it in my mind that this was some sort of criminal enterprise? It all seems pretty dull so far. Going. Seem nervous. Which makes I don't nervous. know whether the mercenary was a bad guy or not. I just know he was a hostile guy. Alright, folks. 
now that we've cleaned that place out of everything that I was able to find, at least, that was, uh, that was valuable, I am really overdue for a break, so I'm gonna go do that, and, um, uh, I, I'll probably be back in about three and a half to five minutes or so, so if you need to get up yourselves and grab some food or a drink or something, now's a really good time to do it. So, the missing handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> <laughs> then I used my cleverness to hide. We ready? Happy New Year! Who's there we go. And I even have champagne to toast. Goodbye, 2021. Because we are going to have to go for the silly death, obviously. Open machine. Climb in machine. Well, Roger, it certainly appears as though you're about to become all washed up. <laughs> Wait, what? Open machine? Oh my god! <laughs> Is he just taking a nap? I mean, of all the possible things he could break out of his enclosure and do, that's probably about the best, but come on. From the Rakata, then you are a spy and must be killed. Do spies normally announce themselves? Oh, this is fun. Okay. Katori's Museum. Where the past comes to life. Scrawled at the bottom in small text, it says, The Church of the Light requires us to specify that this is a metaphor. Oh, she's not dead. Interesting. Quite squeeze past this cannon. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well, they've messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> Can I call you Bob? <laughs> you may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that, that was a little eerie. <laughs> oh, that was a great one. Oh, you're still with us. Take a swim. <laughs> well, that was, that was pretty close to a good plan.
No problem. the hard way. Alright, I'm back. Have a good night, Bob. Thank you, Aaron Lar. Oh. Look over that. Sorry, Vilia. <laughs> we are a good team. Don't you think so? Uh oh, oh. Look over there. Oh, yeah. New Year? Let's not talk about New Year. It's not even December yet. That's clear. Broken Helm Hollow is not. Maybe we should look at that one. There's a cave here. Got a bad feeling about this. I don't know. The passages here are a bit wider. Probably won't get stuck as easily. That's that. Shall we continue? Oh, skeevers. Volume three. Oh. We are a good team. You think so? Before we go there, though. I bet this whole place is crowded with bandits. It certainly seems that way so far. Battle of San Cretor.
Potent potion of fortified lock picking. Uh... Card of Builders 3, Card of Draconians 5, Emerald. Mace of Harvesting, Staff of Crackling, and Fortify Sneak. Red alert. Raid incoming. Alera, El, Joduri, and all librarians, please get all viewers and patrons into welcome shelters immediately. Library cards are available for distribution. Top Girl, hi from the iceberg. It's so good to have you here, Top Girl. How are you doing this evening? Guys, if you are not following Top Girl, make sure you go give her a follow. She's a wonderful streamer and content creator. I've known her for a long time here on Twitch. A lot of you have too. Please make sure you're following. If you're not already, then just go hit that follow button. I appreciate the shout outs. Thank you so much, guys. How's everybody doing? Welcome on in, Top Girl and Junk Garage and Crispy and everyone. It's really good to see you. It's November. Why is there Christmas in November? But it's the thing is, these are the, this is the pandemic era. We're allowed to celebrate anything we want at any time we want. You can celebrate Christmas 2023 in January if you want, because it's not too early. And anybody who gives you crap for celebrating that early is basically doomed to a life of misery. So celebrate what you want when you want, whatever gives you joy. Uh, how's, how's it going, Top Girl? How was your stream? What were you up to this evening? Oh, how did Resident Evil Village treat you? I, I have to admit, when it comes to the Resident Evil series, I genuinely enjoyed the earlier games in the series, like Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, Code Veronica, Resident Evil 0, all of those. Resident Evil 4 was kind of a severe disappointment and just started a downward slide where the games became complete garbage. Um, but Village is the first one that seems to be reversing that trend. Village actually looks like it's got something interesting going on with it. It looks like it might potentially actually be pretty good. So a little bit more open to that one than I have been for a while as far as that series goes. So I hope that one went pretty well. Doomed to a life of misery? Already figured that out a long time ago. Fair enough, Crispy. So how was your stream? So if you guys have never been here before, uh, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player, story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, and classic adventure games. So if any of that sounds good, please do feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly as well. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 69 four factor aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Okay, that Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I didn't. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. I've only played Village so far, but I want to check out some of the others. The DLC is really good. Excited to finish it next week. Yeah, I've seen some people play the DLC. It looks really interesting. I Just to be clear, I'm not contemplating actually playing Resident Evil Village. But it's the kind of game that I don't mind watching. I think it would still probably be... I don't know, in some ways I think it would probably be fine to play, but it's not really something still that I have a whole lot of interest in playing. But the story looks interesting, the characters look good. It looks like they've taken the roots of Resident Evil 7, which, controversial opinion here, I know a lot of people really love it. Totally fine if you really love Resident Evil 7. That's not a problem. I have no issue with that. I hate it. It's the worst game in the series by far. Are none. For me, at least, specifically. But uh, it looks like they've taken that, the roots of it, the roots of the story, the character, and all that kind of stuff, and they've spun it off in a different direction, narratively and gameplay-wise, in ways that make me think, huh, okay, well, that's kind of cool. So we'll see where they go with it. Maybe one day they'll get me back as a player. A long time ago, I used to play some of the earlier games in the franchise, and I enjoyed them a fair bit. I don't think I ever actually finished any of them, but I played them, and I enjoyed them. I was ex Oh, is this maybe another movable rock? Actually, that doesn't look big enough to be a movable rock, does it? Is there a... No, there doesn't look like a passage. What is... Okay, so I thought this was going to be a larger cavern. It's proving to be fairly smallish. If you see me eating a whole cake, mind your business. I'm celebrating my birthday early and weekly. I won't stop you, Winters. I'm surprised that I'm enjoying playing it. I only let chat make me play scary things as a charity incentive. That is an entirely fair thing. I don't even let chat do that to me. Scary games don't particularly bother me, I have to admit. It's, uh, I, I've told chat this before. It's not the scares that bother me. It's not jump scares that bother me. I don't like playing games that severely stress me out. And horror games do tend to do that to a pretty big degree. So they're pretty much a no-go. There are rare exceptions, but for the most part, that's where I draw the line. So if it's a scary game that's not particularly stressful, it might be fine. Even if it's not a scary game, if it's too stressful, I'm probably not going to play it. 
Made it through Outlast a couple of years ago, so that makes them a little easier to face. Oh, man. <laughs> Outlast is another... What the heck? We were right here. I got that thing. I remember getting that thing. That's crazy. Um, yeah, Outlast is right up there with uh, Resident Evil 7 in my book. Not a super big fan. Reasons for it are quite different, but... Uh, I do have to say congrats on finishing it. That is... I've seen a lot of people play it and get really freaked out by it, so... That is definitely a thing. What are... Ah, troll. Swamp Cyclops in this case. But still basically a troll. Hey, Gen Pair, how's it going? Have you seen or played Little Nightmares? I have seen it. That one is good for being spooky setting, but not super scary. Oh, it's, it's like I said, it's not the scariness. I can handle scariness. I used to play all the Resident Evil games and Silent Hill and Fatal Frame and all them. It's the stress that gets to me. Little Nightmares doesn't seem particularly stressful. That seems like a pretty fun stealth adventure, which I'm potentially down for one of these days. I haven't played it yet. It's on my list of games that I'm considering, though. There's a difference between scary and stressful and disturbing. Yes, there is. And a lot of people don't really acknowledge that. Where'd and, you come from? You know, that's fair. A lot of games that I see build these days as horror games rely almost exclusively on jump scares. Which I think are terribly named. I don't consider jump scares to be scares at all. That's startlement. That's not scary. Same with the stressful games, you can't do it? Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing for me, is the stress. I play games specifically, for the most part, to de-stress. I'm not looking to add more stress to my life. Rom's Pass, have we... Oh, wait, that was a passage to another modded area, wasn't it? Okay, so we don't necessarily want to do that right now. Does anybody happen... Maybe we will actually explore that. I want to see if that's how you get to that... Um, that area south of Skyrim. Where Oblivion was sent. Cyrodiil. Well. Don't you think so? I remember having to take tests after each of Last of Us chapters. Or take breaks after The Last of Us. Really, Bill? See... That also goes to show you that just different people can react differently to different games. I remember a couple of years ago when I was playing The Last of Us Part 1, I made a comment about how I just don't ever play scary games because they're too stressful. And then people in chat were like, well, what made you decide to play this one? And it had not occurred to me up to that point that people considered The Last of Us to be a stressful or scary game. In my mind, it's firmly in the... What was that? This is a stealth action story-driven adventure game that just happens to feature fungal zombies. And that's it. So I had to think about that one a little bit. And then I've got other friends who absolutely love, say, for example, Outlast. You guys, uh, a lot of you, if you've been around for a while, you probably remember Not Jen. She doesn't really stream anymore, sadly, but... Oh, hello. But when she did stream, she was actually an Outlast speedrunner. She really loved that game. Presumably she still does. G 
she didn't find it scary. Maybe at first, but uh, certainly after speedrunning it for a while, she didn't find it scary or stressful at all. Been watching God of War and I don't think I'm gonna even try it on story mode. That's fair, Winters. My interest in the God of War game is, I have to admit, it's getting up there. It looks like it would be pretty fun for me. Certainly the second one, the new one, looks like it would be really good. So that might have to be a 2023 playthrough for me, I'm thinking. I mean, I've had the thing since I got my PS... Not even the PS5. I've had it since I got the PS4. It came with the PS4. So I've been sitting on that one forever. You need her alone. Done and Boots, the posting of the hunt. Poor lass, I didn't even notice she was there and she's already dead. Didn't find it scary, just flat out stressful. Yeah, that's fair. And honestly, I can see that, especially in the areas that are like just full of the different types of zombies and stuff. I found them too short to be particularly stressful. I just found it really fun. But I can easily see how, you know, other people would react differently and stuff. Now, the second game. I think I would find that one to be far too narratively stressful, so I'm not even thinking about playing part two. That's not going to happen. I've had enough. I'm not even planning on playing the DLC for the first one. I never did play that. I don't think I will. I mean, I could have my mind changed on that, but the chances are pretty low. I played it. I loved it. I'm pretty good with what we had got out of it. I don't really need any more of it. it. It kind of occupies a similar place in my mind with the Walking Dead Telltale game. I played that one a long time ago now. It was a freaking age ago. So too? Like a million years ago, roughly. And the first season of that, the Walking Tale series, was amazing. It was so good. It was so well done. And then I played 400 Days, which was kind of the bridge that they added afterwards, leading into season two. And I started playing season two, and I realized that the game was really just super, super, super disturbing and triggering and depressing all the time, and uh, so I decided I was basically done with it, and I've never gone back to it. It's just too much time and effort put into, you know, making me feel worse, whereas I would rather feel better. That's kind of where I am with The Last of Us as well. Deep Rock Galactic is pushing it for me because it involves timers. Yeah, see, timers usually don't bother me too much, but it's real easy to see how they would get to people. I don't blame you. I don't know what I was doing, but chapters took hours for me. That reminds me of the first time I played through Dishonored, the first Dishonored game. Man, that game, the second, like when I streamed it, it was my second playthrough, and it wasn't so bad at that point, because I'd been through it once before I was a streamer. The first time I went through, there were some maps where I would literally spend eight hours I gave myself stress headaches. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Have you got a minute? Uh, why not? 
I was just thinking, maybe I'm talking too much. I could understand that. Just tell me if you don't want me to be so talkative. Maybe a little less. Just don't talk quite as often. I see. Well, I can understand that you need some time for your own thoughts, instead of listening to me all the time. Dishonored in the end, I just had to go non-stealth. It was taking too long, that's fair. Deep Rock is not bad timers, though. I can if I want play on the easiest and completely ignore a lot of the timers. A lot of people can't do that, though, Jarek. That's good that you can, though. That's pretty cool. For me, the combat seems too relentless and stressful in God of War, and I don't feel like there's enough story there for me to bash my head trying to get through the fights. Take a look at some of the people playing through God of War 2, like Ragnarok. T with Mandy, for example, and Ash Monster FTW. Uh, they both have really, really, really awesome stuff going on with their playthroughs. And the second one in particular, I always got the impression, maybe this is a false impression, I always thought that the first God of War, or not the first, but, you know, the first of the new series that they're doing with, um, uh, you know, a Stargate guy as the voice of Kratos, I always thought the first one seemed very linear. The second one is not at all linear, or at least the story might be linear, but it gives you like wide areas where you can go and do tons and tons of side stuff as well before you move on to the next area. So maybe that's, maybe that's more what you're looking for there. I don't know if this is working or not. Well. I can understand that you need some time for your own thoughts, instead yep. of listening to me all yes, the time. Yes, it? Thank you, Vilya. Let's uh, look at your extra sure. storage. I need to get rid of some crap here. Sure. Look at all that stolen food. Now I can pin it all on her if I get caught. I played on story mode and enjoyed so much of the story and didn't bash my head trying to get through fights. I enjoyed the 2018 God of War in story mode. Nice, Cleric. That's awesome. That's what I want to hear. I beat Dishonored 1 and got the ghost undetected and whatever it was called where you don't kill anyone. Clean hands. It was insanely hard. Yeah, when I streamed it, Tagarung, that's what I went for and I managed to do it too. It was really tough. I never did finish Dishonored 2, which is kind of a shame, because that was... I, I still remember playing that one for a good while, and it was really fun. It's a really good game. Disabling those. I thought story mode didn't make the fight so easy that they were boring, but didn't feel like throwing my controller. Story mode's an easier mode. It's set up so you can enjoy the story without wanting to rage. 
Yeah, that's, um... I don't know what difficulty I would go for. One of these days I'll figure it out. I'll give it some thought when I go to play it, I guess. of mushrooms and that's all there is. Hmm. We're getting all the really small dungeons today. Excuse me. Thank you. Center here. Ah. Maybe we're not done after all. That didn't work. Like, I've been playing Resident Evil uh, on casual, so things don't need a hundred bullets. Yeah, I can understand that. In story mode, you're less likely to find yourself in a position where you're repeatedly trying to get past a fight sequence. I found there were a couple of fights here and there that were still difficult, but it was more because I wasn't paying attention that, that they were actively hard. I can get behind stuff like that. You seem friendly, but so does a bear until it's chewing your face off. Goodbye. I don't really want a goblin follower. I suppose there are those who would consider that to be a treat. with go but it work on me eventually bore on me eventually yeah not my style of companion Okay, so I was entirely wrong about that being a passage to another area. It's okay.
guess what? I found one of those ingredients I was looking for. Isn't that great? Fantastic, Philia. Uh, ripped and dogs down that way. Yeah, so maybe we'll play through God of War sometime in 2023. Can't loop that even. I don't know when exactly. I have no specific plan in mind. I just know there's unlikely to be time to start it in 2022. not impossible, but I'm not going to swear to it. Funny, people say that it's almost impossible to kill a dragon, but you must have killed at least ten of them. Hmm, I don't think it's been ten yet. But we're getting there. It's funny, I was hoping we would randomly run across a dragon. But I was hoping more for a specific dragon, not that one. I don't even know how to check on Stara. Where would I go looking for that? We are a good team. Don't you think so? What the? Oh. Deeper powers under the shout section. Nine dragon souls. So I guess it is ten, actually. Presuming that I learned and spent the first soul of that first dragon on unrelenting force. Games I don't really get are Souls-like games, including the much-loved Elden Ring. I feel like I've watched dozens of hours of the game being played and still don't know any of the lore. All I know is death. Yeah, I have zero interest in those ones. I love that they exist for people to love so much, but they're not for me.
Crow's Tooth's camp? Who is Crow's Tooth? See if we can maybe find out. feel like maybe I'm not supposed to go that way. Ooh, very nice, Greeny. 321 mods? Damn. I hope you have a lot of RAM. <laughs> That's the amount of space it occupies on disk. That does not directly translate to how much it's going to occupy in memory. But give it a try. creepy. It's making me nervous that I haven't found a single thing to fight yet.
it's not. Down here again. Maybe that's my problem and why I'd be better off playing a, such a game by myself. I don't think the people I've watched play games like ER have taken enough time to read everything and absorb the environmental storytelling. It's all about being beating the next boss. I've not played Elden Ring or any Souls-like, but I've learned to respect the lore. You know how you like environmental storytelling while well, they take it to 11. All the lore is built through inference, descriptions on items, easily missed comments by NPCs, etc. It's really deep, but you do have to dig for it or watch lore videos. Well, never say never. I'd probably be more inclined to play something like Elden Ring that's designed to be explored than something like... Wait a minute. I recognize this room. I think we already did a mission in here, and that's why it's empty. Dark light chambers. Yeah, we've done this before. That's why there's nobody to fight. We already cleared this place. Except I don't think we actually came into this room specifically. What was that? Damn it, Jage. One Souls like I really enjoyed was Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah, I like that one a lot. And I will play the crap out of uh, Survivor when that one comes out. Sorry, Vilya. Had to do it. She needed to be looted. Grand Soul Gem filled. Or actually, I don't know if it's filled, but it's a Grand Soul Gem. So worth it, regardless.
When people are playing, they're likely focused on, okay, how many tries to beat this boss and reading lore isn't always seen as the most compelling stream content. Foolishly, as Gord knows, since he has incentives to make him read books and stuff in Skyrim. How's it going, J.H.? Yes, thank you, Anstara. Please, guys, don't forget we are streaming on behalf of Extra Life. And if some of you are maybe holding off on donating until I do open up the, uh, you know, the crowd control charity stuff, I have good news for you. I haven't done it yet, but I looked into it. I was going to have that running for today, except I'm having some trouble getting it to actually work. I'm hoping to have that set up for the next time I do a game that crowd control works with. And then we'll just probably end up doing that for the rest of the month. I will still, of course, have the Skyrim incentives, which, by the way, I do believe I got that fixed. Thank you, Bill. Uh, I do believe the incentives are now visible in the campaign page, so if you go there, you should be able to see what the incentives are and let me know when you donate. So that should be a thing that's possible now. I don't have as many Skyrim incentives as I usually do. I will be adding some more still, but I've got all the ones that allow you to forbid and unforbid stuff. I don't have any of the incentives to make me go and read books yet, although that's probably the next one I'm going to add. And I don't have anything for going and doing specific missions and stuff like that. Uh, there will be <laughs> no provision this time for making me do the, uh, uh, um, excuse me, ma'am, who are you? You're still hanging around, Ilya? Greetings, Ilya. How are you doing? She has dialogue specific for Ilya. That's actually really impressive. Um, yeah, there, there will be nothing to make me do the Dark Brotherhood this year. We're not doing that. Because I frankly just really don't want to do it. Thieves Guild, maybe. We'll see. I had some fun with that last time. N uh, mm. Really, Anstara? I would consider that one. I would consider that one. That that might be okay. That might be fun to do. I wouldn't even have to make that one ridiculously expensive because I would just enjoy doing it. Someone there? Nope. I thought I heard footsteps. Be careful. Thought I heard something. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Lydia. I will destroy you. Sorry, Zorana. Vanel. It's a good, strong weapon. Okay, I'm not sure exactly how we get out of here. You've never actually attacked Astrid in the hut. Huh. 
I will add that as an option then. I think that would be a good one. the tower out that way. Oh, I probably don't want to attack these people then. Okay. Guys? We okay? What's going on? I'm sorry to hear that, Bob, even though I'm sure you can't hear me at the moment. Is the stream okay for everyone else? Wonder if it's the game or the new Alpha channel, but I see lots of artifacting. I guess that's what they are called, and quality gets really bad. But it's more on movement. <laughs> The alpha on the camera should not be causing anything like that, J.H. That doesn't mean it isn't causing that, it just means it shouldn't be. Each arm? 
<laughs> I'd rather have two bottles of mead than Hey, French. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of mead. <laughs> Just don't know when it's time to give up. That was really no math at all. These destruction spells responsibly, only you can prevent fire forest fires. It's true. Luckily, my spells don't tend to cause forest fires. So far, at least. Well, a bottle of stone golem. In this case. But a bear would work just as well. I can prevent forest fires. That's a lot of responsibility for me in this California drought. I believe in you, Haggis. <laughs> Next out, the flamethrower ability. Uh, I think you mean destruction magic? It's not maxed out, but it's getting there. What are we murdering now? Was it really tough, though? have any idea what they were fighting. Hey Romney, how's it going? So getting your ass kicked in the early stages? I've done a, a little bit of conjuration because this is a charity stream and the incentives that I have for Skyrim are that you can forbid me from using various abilities, including destruction magic. So what happens is when I get destruction forbidden so that I can't use my nice elemental bolt spell, I have bound bow. Where'd you come from? Leave her alone. So I can skewer stuff that way, though I'm not really all that good at archery because I never use it. A Nordic ruin. What say you? Should we investigate? Eh, can't hurt, I guess. Where'd you come from? You're quite good with that bow. Damn it, Romney! Oh my god. Oh my You must admit that I'm not bad. You must admit that I'm not bad. You leave her alone. You're good. I wish I could use a bow that well.
Holy crap, all the wolves. Winter's posture check. I could probably use one of those. Next stretch, five minute warning, guys. We'll have ads coming up in five minute warnings and also an apology because I have been absolutely abysmal at keeping track of breaks and ads and all that crap. Uh, so for anybody who's had to suffer through and miss stuff that's happened on stream because of ads, I really apologize. I've been trying to make a strong effort recently until tonight, apparently, <clears throat> to make sure that I go to clips while ads are running so that people don't miss stuff. And tonight, I don't know where my brain is at, but I have just completely missed everything. So I really, really do apologize for that. Next stretch and hydrate. There go. Thank you guys. Where it's missing getting a bunch of tame duck build platypus gifts suddenly. It is sounding better than it used to. Your brain is in the northern province of Skyrim? Well, that's my problem, then. Because my character is in the southern realm of Skyrim. I need to get them in sync. I don't recognize this place. This might be a new dungeon to me. Kind of boggles my brain how there can still be new content for me in this game without mods even. There you go. <clears throat> this is wait. Never mind. This is not new. We've been through here before. This is that dungeon where the lady wanted our help clearing out the corpses that she found because they were still walking around. And her body ought to be on top of that where it was crushed and impaled by those spikes. So we don't need to be through here anymore. We already did this. We do, JH. Yes, we do. And suddenly daylight. Alright, guys. A little under two minutes until we go to the mod or to the ads. Since we have a terrible pun or dad joke, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the joke. Then I'm gonna take a break, because I'm overdue for that too. When I get back, the ads should be well and truly behind us. So let me see. Where's my joke book? What do birds give out on Halloween? Wheats. There you go. That's also what Elon Musk gives out for Halloween, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. We don't have ten wolves anymore, that's true.
Okay, guys, I'm going to go take a break. And because uh, we're now at about the two o'clock mark, at least in my time zone, I'm going to take a slightly longer break. So I'm going to grab some food. So if you need to get up and grab some food yourself, maybe a drink, get a snack, whatever you need to do, it's a really good opportunity to do it. My breaks are usually three and a half to five minutes long, but because this is a longer one, probably count on closer to five to eight minutes worth. So I'll meet you back here shortly. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Dolph Deer. Just like the generator outside. Only huge. What are you doing? Mom, stop. Mom, Mark. You gotta get out of there, man. Can you move? Yeah. Go down that hallway. Now. <coughs> While they appreciate human sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom enthused about being summoned to poor clothes. Oh my god. Oh, you are so lucky. And holy crap, that right golf. Didn't you used to be a used chip salesman? Well, yeah, but I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god. Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! Nice. Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh, was a bit preoccupied. Oh. Oh my god, how strong are these Dilophosaurus? Wow. Sock puppet hounds. What? Who designed this vessel? It's fine. That was very discreet. Master of stuff. Right. Now just a bit more. Mm. Oh god. Thank you, Greeny. <laughs> I'll keep that as a healing reserve. I just chose the one set with the uh Oh god damn it, Greeny. <laughs> Oh my god, I just emptied my frickin' inventory. How am I already overburdened again? Triple kill!
What? Art <laughs> That was unexpected. Artillery providing cover? Alera, I have a special task that would be perfect for you. However, I would just be signing your death warrant if I were to give it to you now. When you are more skillful, return to me and I may give it to you then. Perfect. So you're basically saying I'm an incompetent wreck. Thanks. Isaac Clement. Together, we'll create the most spectacular dinosaur park imaginable, and hopefully not die in the process. <laughs> really, I don't want to die. Oh, that's the ISS Enterprise F, I believe. Or is that the F or the E? No, that's definitely Odyssey class. Do you mind? You're interrupting a thing here. He's got so much reach. Holy crap. <laughs> that was the best. It's amazing how little I care about the stalkers these days. What the hell was that? What? What is that? Oh my god. Oh crap. Shot blasts a new orifice in the side of the junk freighter. <laughs> Unfortunately, your inadequately protected ship is struck and subsequently destroyed in the bottleneck of metallic objects driving to pass through the same relatively small opening. Moira's mo Back. What? <laughs> wow. These guys have been doing strength training with the, uh, compies, I see. There you are.
What? Ruined. That was a perfectly lined up shot. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Uh... <laughs> um... That's not good. <laughs> we will have a nice new feature in town soon, it's true. Achievement unlocked. It's heading right for us. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well, you weren't kidding. That is actually a pretty attractive crater. No! No! Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, I am taking the win, even if I have to redo it. <laughs> Let's turn that on. Whoa! That was awfully close by. I see you guys have been busy stacking them up. I'm a little unafraid to unpause now, but I'm back. Thank you, Aaron Laura. Oh god, okay, here we go. Huh. I expected it to be worse. And you finally have a challenge, hang on. Let me take a look at crowd control here. I wonder if something happened. Okay, there is a wolf in the queue. There is a cheese explosion in the queue now. Thank you, Bob. When was the Hagraven sent? Jarek, did you just do that? Um... Since the Hagraven doesn't seem to be showing up, I've actually got a refund option there, so I've just refunded Jarek's Hagraven. I don't have that option for Greeny's Wolf or Romney's Wolf. Be like before the queued one. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's the cheese. I don't know why the wolves are not working. We know they work sometimes. I'm still here. I think for your own point or coin uh, edification, maybe just don't try and queue up a crap load of stuff during breaks because it doesn't seem to work reliably. I'm right behind you. You know what to say. I am sworn to carry your burdens. 
You sure are. Oh, shoot. I'm looting Lydia. That's not what I had in mind. Oh, your wolf was doing the pack attack. Okay. No, I must spam. Well, it's up to you, Romney. No, you oh, Jesus. Ah! You will be so dead. Wow. I've got your back. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> Big update for Baldur's Gate 2 or 3 coming. Theories are that Paladin is coming. Oh, that'll be fun, Greeny. I can't wait to see the dialogue for a Paladin with the companions we've got. I'll probably do a Paladin run just as a sort of spiritual continuation of my Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 run, but also because, man, paladin dialogue with the characters that, like, the companions that we have, a paladin and a vampire traveling together, can you imagine? And a cleric of Shar. Yeah, and Stara, I really want Monk, too. I really do want Monk. But, oh, crap. Oh, okay, I thought I was dead. But uh, Paladin and Monk, those are probably the two classes I want most. So I'm happy that we're at least getting the one. Monk, I can honestly see why that one would take a while. Oh, look at that, we have another thing there. Monk is going to require a lot of work to just get the animations down and the different types of moves and all that. At least if they want it Guess to really what? look Where'd awesome. You one of those I was for. Not sure what that was all about, but okay. Who's there? Who's telling a knock knock joke? It's terrible pun and dad joke, not knock knock. Done and done. I mean, I guess technically knock knock jokes fit the bill, they are terrible. But still. So personally, it's been such a long time since they've had an update, I wonder if they're going to give up a bit more. I would love that so much. The only problem is, then I'd have to choose, and that would be really hard. Therapy, what's up? I have a really weird, like, I like the smell of old books. You know something, Zerpy? That's not this at all weird. Lots dumb. and lots and lots of people really love that smell. That is the number one reason that people don't take up e-readers in larger numbers. 
Now, personally, I kind of like the smell, but I hate the amount of dust that books generate. And I'm also kind of allergic to it, so I adopted e-readers really, really early on. But uh, still, incredibly relatable. Not at all weird. What was that? Time to end this little game. Old books have a particular fungus, too. <laughs> Now I'd love it a lot less. Uh. Now ain't this a surprise. Please. Increasing effectiveness and cost. I need someone to sneak into Larry and Quebec, hint, hint, <laughs> and see what they're doing about Monk in their new motion capture studio there. That would be amazing to watch. Look at a hundred year old book and see the little dots near the spine. Yanking windows into a game? What do you mean, Romney? Okay, is that everybody? Oh, got it, Romney, got it. I thought you were commenting on something that was happening to me. Not the most effective of traps. Oh, sorry. Hey, it works. Me. 
We can't even trap you proper with which. Nope. Oh, nice, JH. Could be debuffs. At least I didn't die this time. No new nemesis. You make me nervous when you do like that. Keep an eye on the road, or you might trip and fall. Ow. <laughs> That was a good one. Brigand Dwemer Dwemer. Oh, I think that's a new one. I'm going to have to take that. Rider's Blade. Where'd you come from? What the? That was creepy as hell. Did you guys summon her or was that was she actually here? can say, hey, Bylicious, how's it going? do we need to go? Yeah, there's not as much to this basement as I thought there was. <laughs> or was that it actually uh if if it was queued up it's entirely possible that it just appeared huh oh am i standing in your way oh sorry yeah guys can you think yeah keep keep going there we go thank you let's get going man that is such a nice feature Now, there was a dungeon around here somewhere. Is Oh, there's two. Or maybe one of them's an exit. I'm not sure. Three guard barrel. That sounds fun. I'm glad to hear that, Pilatius. How's your weekend going so far? I hope all is well. Bloody axe. No! You know, the best defense isn't a good armor. Where'd you come from? Strong. That'll teach you. That'll. Who's well. there? Don't you think so? 
didn't I tell you? I was good. Been going well enough, slept pretty much the entire past day by accident. Hey, sometimes you need it, right? <clears throat> but you guess you needed it, yeah. About to take another step closer to 100%ing the Hitman trilogy after I finish this challenge at the moment. So that's what you're going to be doing? That's awesome, Bob. Hitman is another game series I've never played before. <gasps> Damn it. But I am thinking that I need to give it a try. It really looks like it's right up my alley. I'm thinking... Shoot. Oh, that's just rude. I'm thinking that's gonna be possibly another, oh my god, another 2023 game. Though if I can manage it, I wouldn't necessarily object to playing it over you know, maybe December, you come from? something like that. Just, you know, again, not entirely sure when. But I love the stealth aspect of it. I love the creative aspect to it. I love the many, many creative ways that you can use toilets to kill people in it. All that kind of good stuff. Oh, hello. I'll let you guys deal with him. Or not, as you wish. Hello? He's just a drogger. Oh, now I'm stuck. Leave her alone! Thank you. I was gonna say I think I think Hitman would be right up your alley. Yeah, I I've seen people streaming it recently that have made me think. Yep, yeah, okay. This is a thing that's gotta happen at some point. You do have that one that came out in 2020. Maybe you should check that out too, Glenn Greeny. That would be fun.
How did I know? Now, ideally, if I'm going to get it, I think what I would probably like to do is get Hitman 3. Specifically Hitman 3. And then get the content packs that allow you to play all of the content from Hitman 1 and 2 in Hitman 3's engine. That seems like it would be the most fun way to do it. Well, honestly, it's probably just as fun no matter how you do it, but that's the way that seems like it would be the most graphically advantageous and technically challenging. And hello. Oh, there you are. Sorry about this. Okay, just needed to loot him. Make sure there was nothing in there I needed. You're doing it to double dip experience? <laughs> Fair enough. Yep, yeah, Mr. Soggy Ramen. I'm using it to build up my conjuration and archery skills because of the charitable donation stuff we've got going on. I just know you guys are going to forbid destruction a lot. So I want to be prepared. Hi, Chu. Welcome back. Hello. What are you doing here, sir? Day dead. Yeah, I saw that you said something about the challenges there, Bob. I'm not actually going to read it because I would rather find out through the game itself, but I'm sure it is very cool. Look at that sneaky chest placement. I wonder how many people just completely missed out on that.
Oh. Hey. What? How did you... Zorana, how did you get there? What the heck? Can you explain Skyrim to me? You've never played it. Um, it's a very large open world RPG where you discover that you are the Dragonborn and then you screw off and ignore the main story and do endless side quests for hundreds of maybe even thousands of hours. And that's about it, really. It's just an amazing world filled with amazing stuff and you can do amazing things and you can play through the story if you want. I just finished the main story for the very first time a couple of months ago. I've been playing this game off and on for the last 10 years. It is the ultimate fantasy. Oh, hello. How are you not dead? How are you not deader, I guess? <laughs> Headshot! <laughs> Thank you, Sketchy. 300 hours and I quit when I learned I needed to choose between the Jarl and the Imperials. You do not need to. That's actually a misconception. You do not need to do that. You can complete the main story without choosing between the Stormcloaks and the Imperials. That is optional content. You do not have to do the Civil War. It helps if you do the Civil War, but you don't have to do it. So if you ever feel like going through it again and you don't want to choose between the two. Was that me? That was... I don't think that was... Guys. We've discussed this. Can we do without... Oh my god, I hate those things. They are the creepiest droggers. Look at that. Yes, Jared, I believe you did that. I hate these ones. They are the worst. Oh, don't... Oh, my God. Serana, don't reanimate this freaking... Oh, my God. 
Kill it with fire. you done and done Okay, so snake. There's something to manipulate somewhere that needs to be showing snake that is not currently showing snake. Some free walking suits of armor problem is there are soldiers in them. Problem has such a negative connotation. We prefer the word challenge. Wow. Nope, you're not one of them. That'll teach you. I wish I could use a bow that well. I'm really not that good. Neither are bows. That one's whale. Okay. Okay, now... And this one needs to be eagle. There we go. Totally, Mr. Sagiraman. You know I'm a big Musk supporter.
I'm kidding, by the way, for anyone who actually thinks I'm serious. Twitter's doomed. But I'm going to stick with it until it actually disappears. But I am in the process of moving a lot of my stuff over to Mastodon. someone called Twitter dollar sign 8 Chen now that's basically about right yeah exactly JH have a good night Bob guys. It's a bound bow, sketchy gamer. It means I summoned it using a conjuration spell. It's like bound blade or bound axe. side? That. Wonder if Uthgird would use that. Where are you, Uthgird? Let's get going. What do you need to take? <laughs> Ever the optimist. Let's go. Ah, she seems to like it. Okay. Dollars, take it or leave it. Why? Why are you guys leaving? Only difference is that Bound Bow isn't bought but found out in the wild. Yes, I searched for a long time to figure out where Bound Bow was. In the end, I completely failed and consulted Chat for help. Thank you, Chat. Because of this spell, I'm likely to develop my archery skill to a significant degree. For the first time ever in my history with this game. Right in the butt. Well, upper back, or lower back actually, but still close enough.
I estimate there is no chance whatsoever that any of my companions will get trapped in this trap. Oh, sneaky. They put two triggers in. Uh, no, I have not beaten Breath of the Wild, and that is definitely a game that is due for a return to the stream soon. I keep watching the clips that I've got of it and thinking, man, I missed that game. I really have to play that game again. So that's likely to happen over the winter. I don't know... Oh, hello. I don't know if it'll happen in December. It might. It, it literally, it really might, because I really do want to play it again. But uh, it will definitely happen over the winter, if not in December itself. They are sketchy. They're also, I think, the second most powerful arrows that are available in the game. Which is why you can't just go out and buy the spell. You have to find it, because it's really a powerful spell. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Have you got a minute? Why not? I have to confess. I actually have more communication holes for you. I didn't want to give them to you at the same time as the other one. I only have so much you inventory see, space. I simply didn't want to make things too complicated for you. But these are simpler to use. Three of them represent specific topics that we can discuss as we travel. The fourth one you can use to tell me to keep quiet when it's inconvenient that I'm talking. I won't be offended, I swear. You look so pale. Are you ill? It's the new horns. It's a lot to take in. Sure. As you wish. Okay, let's see. Of course. Okay, just a second here. I want to give her that as potential gear. Okay. Talk later. One of the drawbacks to this bow is that the arrows are unlimited. And they never, ever, ever disappear, apparently. Which means you can bloat your save game if you're not careful. Where'd you come from? You leave her alone. 
I'm learning fast. Done done. Don't you think so too? Sequel May 2023. Good thing production delays aren't a thing in Japan. Oh, they are. They're just smart enough not to talk about them. You know, I don't like wading into deep pools of oil. Come along, folks. We're going back this way for a short bit. So fast, back to sleep with you. Frogger Club. It's so nice that they have a place to go and hang out with one another. The long centuries between adventure incursions. Must make the tedium of the passing eons a lot easier to bear. Elven Great Wings Blade? That looks amazing. Guard Barrel. Hello, oh, Fat. How goes? Well, come on in. No, I don't think we've fought Falmer or Charis so far at all yet in this playthrough. That is not a complaint, by the way. I mean, I guess you could count the giant Charis spider that we had to fight. That was pretty gross. Sorry, Vilya. <laughs> oh god, is she gonna have an arrow sticking out of her face forever now? <laughs> Whoops. Okay, how do we open you?
Billiard, you got the arrow out. Oh, that's Serana. Never mind. Reminds me of that one meme where a knight is wearing full armor and then an arrow pierces through the helm right where the eyes would be. It would take a hell of an archer, but that was, you know, that, that's, that's what you would aim for. Whether you hit or not is another matter. Oh, look at that. I nailed him right in the nostril. That's one way to clear the sinuses. missing something. Got the chest. Oop. Oh, sorry. I'm oh, I'm a standing in your way. Yes, sorry. sorry. Thank you. Try that. Come on, let's see you put up a fight. Am I overlooking a triggering mechanism? What's the deal here? You aim for the horse. Show me how brave you are. I don't even see a horse. you can do huh come on let's see you put up a fight oh uh, no i should probably take a break soon i've been like i said earlier i've just been absolutely the worst I'll kill you. what come on show me how brave you are oh they got him Thank you didn't i tell you i was good yeah, you were real good there, Vilya. Thank you. Couldn't have done it without you. Now, if only I could open this. Um... I don't see any chains. I don't see any mechanisms unless that's a triggerable trap and it doesn't really look like one tell you what i'll go take that break right now when i get back i'll give it another go and Spoilers allowed for this one because I'm stumped. I don't see any chains. I don't see levers. I don't see any of the usual triggering mechanisms for secret doors and non-secret doors or any of that stuff. So uh, if you need to get up yourselves, grab some food or a drink or a snack or whatever, now's a really good time. My breaks are usually about three and a half to five minutes long, so I'll see you back here in a few.
Oh, maybe it'll come here. Okay, more locally to you then. Yeah, I... Oh. Whoops. Thanks, Auto Drive. Ah. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that... That was a little eerie. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, what's your name? Well, what's your name? My name is Mancomb Seepgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? <laughs> Oh, and it's back here again. Yeah. What the hell was that? Okay, how are we doing time-wise here? Oh no. 66. Wow, that dramatic music cue. Ah, jeez. Oh, God. That was not the best play. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Um. Down you go. At least I got meat. <laughs> there we go. Tabletops have the best return for me so far. For me, I think it's gotta be Rimworld. Oh my... That escalated quickly. It's so weird. Well, that's impressive, though. I like that. They call them silent machete kills, but they definitely don't see all that seem all that silent to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch the magic. Why does it do tricks? Too nice. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was. Okay. Oh! Where the hell did he come from? Because we are going to have to go for the silly death, obviously. Open machine. Climb in machine. Well, Roger, it certainly appears as though you're about to become all washed up. <laughs> Wait, what? Open machine. Oh my god.
Gotcha. Something terrible. Okay, I'm back. Circle levers with the metal pole or the wooden pole. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Thank you, folks. I don't know what circle levers you're referring to. You don't mean these, do you? I assume not. They don't seem to be interactable in any case. Can't do anything there. Let's hope that was it. That was it. Okay. Crisis averted. Glowing pile of ash. I agree, Low. I agree. That was Pilicious, not my favorite one of the uh, game so far. I like that there's so much treasure down here. I don't like that there are so many cobwebs. Although, the fact that they're not being cleared by fire suggests that it's probably not really a spider thing. It's just more of an aesthetic thing. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself.
I could be wrong. Ooh. I hate you. Sorry about the sneak attack. You don't mind the... It disappeared. I guess huh? she didn't care for the piercing. Gross. Get a spider thing. Chat would never do that. There are a lot of things chat would do. I refuse to believe that that is one of them. Chat is nicer and kinder than that. Okay. This is going to be another... Oh, thank you, Jarek. I appreciate that. It's going to be another switch hunt, isn't it? Reminds me of the great switch hunt of February 2020. Everybody wanted... The Animal Crossing New Horizons switch. Nobody could find them because they sold out too fast. Don't like the sound of that. see. Got it. First stronger. Mind. 
Can't help but notice neither of these opened. I assume that's going to be waiting for a future event. You heard chat is nice. Chat is... Mostly pretty nice. Okay, so what did that gain me? Oh, that's what that gained me. sure that's pretty creepy oh one of those traps That sounds like a challenge. Could be. Could be. Right in the temple. Or as I like to call it, the Temple of Doom. Old Mary Axstaff? I love that. Oh, no. Um...
Is there any indication of what that's needed to be? seems unlikely that it's going to be on the solution, so I'm going to turn it once and give it a try. I've got a quick save. Okay, it's not whale. There we go. Sorry. You go. You can't hide. That's only a dragger. Where's the white? They're both there. Come on. How am I missing? Come on. Come on. Best bow in the game, my bud. That one, legit miss. Same there. There we go. Look at that. It's a good thing this dungeon doesn't have to ever be loaded again after I'm done in here. Be free. What the heck? It's hitting and impacting and even sticking into him. Also, oh. this one's just called undead it's not a drogger it's not even a zombie or a skeleton I wonder if it's like maybe somehow immune to these attacks Ooh, 
that was tough. Go snake whale because we already had eagle. Not bad. I'll take it. that oh the potion falling over I thought there was something more sinister going on A Nordic ruin. What say you? Should we investigate? I don't know. It's kind of out of our way, Vilya. I mean, it's not like we're in the middle of it right now. Is there not a mod that allows you to clean up the bounded arrows? Yes, actually, we talked about that last night, uh, Pilicious. Such a mod does, in fact, exist. Have it yet, but I'm gonna make a point of getting that soon. That's freaking irritating. And I think the hanging moss bounding box is in the way of looting these potions. That's frustrating. I'm starting to wonder if maybe this is a modded dungeon. That doesn't seem like... I mean, I know Bethesda... Lots and lots of bugs, yes, of course. 
That does not seem like a Bethesda type of bug to make, though. They're really, really good at their environments. That seems like the work of someone who's less good. The sort of person who would make a trigger, for example, that takes a million years to find. Back to your eternal rest, buddy. Well, I upgraded my computer recently, Pilatius. I've got 64 gigabytes of RAM now. So I actually suspect it would take quite some time for it to become a real problem. But there could still be issues with other aspects of it, like, you know, areas taking too long to load and things like that. Plus, I am, you know, even if I've got the resources to handle it, that doesn't mean that the problem no longer exists and shouldn't be dealt with. So, I will make a point of getting the mod. I had meant to get it before today, but I was just swamped today. I'm experimenting with some new software for doing my clips and videos and stuff. Trying out DaVinci Resolve for the first time. Which, turns out, that's actually a really nice piece of software. It's got a few quirks that I don't love. But it's got some other stuff, like the ability to do proper subtitles. So, I might actually do some screenshots over the next few days of alternate videos. Yes, what is it? Get an idea of what you guys prefer, what works better. Oh, that's one of Serrano's, I think. Can I get ya? Gotcha. Hello. You leave her alone. That was really no match at all. I'm glad you thought so. And the total save file when uncompressed cannot exceed 64 megs. Yeah, there's that too. Although, how many arrows would it take to actually cause it to exceed that size? Because my completely uninformed impression is that it would probably take you a few years of play to get to a point where that was causing that type of issue. I might be wrong about that, and a lot would depend on how often you played within those years. been hearing a lot about DaVinci Resolve recently. All good, though. Yeah, some of the problems are specific to my setup. Like, I'm using a 4K monitor. DaVinci does not scale properly. So I basically got two options when I use it. One is that I put the resolution of my display down to 1080. Or two, it does support UI doubling. I could double the UI so that I'm still using 4K. But the interface looks exactly the same as it would if I were using 1080. It doesn't really do the uh, the interstitial stuff that you can do with almost every other app. So you lose all the benefits of actually using a 4K display. 
It's frustrating, but in every other way so far, it's been really nice. The only other minor issue I've got is that when you're doing subtitles in DaVinci, it does not handle a stroke on the text very well. By that... Oh, hello. I'm talking about when you do the outline. There's three ways you can do an outline in any kind of vector shape, like a font or anything. You can do the stroke on the center, which means half of the outline is outside of the line and half of the stroke is inside of the line. Or you can do outside, so that all of the stroke, it sort of surrounds the thing and all of the interior space is filled with the uh, color of the shape. And, or you can do 100% of the stroke goes inside the line and so it takes up space that would have been occupied by the fill. For subtitles, for anything involving text, normally you're going to want to do an outside stroke. Because if you go inside the line, it starts to affect the readability of the font. Da Vinci, with subtitles specifically, does centered. You cannot see... I, as far as I can tell, you cannot change that. Which is really frustrating because it ends up looking kind of bad. So that's the kind of thing, when I say I'll do some screenshots, maybe upload some private videos on YouTube and link them so people can look at them, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Hello. Yes, what is it? You didn't need that shoulder, did you? I guess not. I don't know how they store the data, but there are plenty of reports of it. Okay, maybe it happens a little more frequently then. Especially since mod scripts and entity... Oh, shit. Okay, that... Yeah, that... Um, that changes a few things then, Aranar. That's true. I was not considering that at all. Having the mods and whatnot in there, yeah. That I could see that being a real issue. I know that got a little bit technical. I will show you. King. When entering combat, creates three undead skeevers under your control. Their corpses can be raised, but they dissipate when combat ends. Use the merciful king power to temporarily prevent this ability from activating. Mystic Binding. Bound weapon spells now summon mystic weapons, which deal more damage. Don't mind. 
mind if I do. Where'd you come from? You leave her alone. Some enemies just don't know when time to give up. You now have one of the strongest bows in the game. I gotta... Oh. Hello. <laughs> I gotta admit, I'm enjoying it. I don't mind the archery. I mean, it's... Really only the fact that I'm still using magic that makes me enjoy it. Let's be fair. But... It's pretty fun. I get why people like the gameplay of it. And this way, I get to have have my cake and eat it, too. Hello. Huh? Guess I'm just being silly. Yes, what is it? What do you think? That's an awful lot of closed crypts. Clearly, we've been there before. Okay, what is the point of these? to accomplish here. Oh my god. This is definitely not a dungeon put together by Bethesda. Absolutely not. For all that, though, I will say, I'm enjoying this a lot more than the other modded area we added and visited. This is pretty good. It's definitely not Bethesda. But that's not automatically bad, and uh, there, there is a lot of fun to be had here. The big question for me is, does it handle rendering cues? I believe it does, yes, actually. I got actually a little confused by that. I set something up to render and was wondering why nothing was happening, and then I realized I had not actually started the rendering queue. So yes. Yes, indeed.
So if I go and use that same... Come on. That same handle again. Nothing? Oh, shoot. Okay. I missed that the first time up. Oh, I think I get it. Forgive me, I am not used to archery. I was bouncing it off their freaking armor, wasn't I? Uh, if I hit them in the helmet, it just bounces off and does no damage. That's certainly what it seems to look like anyway. I have to hit them in the fleshy bits. Having a switch up there tells me it's got to be a modded dungeon. It does not seem like Bethesda to me to put a switch like that. Yeah, same. I mean, it was the same with... Uh, Serana, you okay up there? There's another one right here. This is the one that really tipped me off. Handle there. Handle over on the other one. That's not Bethesda's design motif. That's not how they do things. It's not the worst thing in the world. A lot of people like stuff like that. Oh god. What the? Is now when I have to open the other switch? Serana, you sure you're okay up there? Oh, there, okay. This is such a quiet bomb.
fine. I guess the others can come too. Three, oh my god, we're not done yet. <laughs> Three guard area. Okay. going to hold them to their word, though. No more than three guards, or there will be hell to pay. I'm not bad. That's okay. I'm learning fast. Don't you think so too? Yeah. Bad. Getting there. Right in the dome. I'm right here, sir. And or madam. We are really good at sneak. Where'd you come? Dogger Death Overlord. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Perfect ancient Nord sword. Oh my god, another one? I think there needs to be a limit on the number of Draugr Death Overlords that there can be in any one individual dungeon. Or if not dungeon, at least any Some one individual room. No Come on. Time to give up. Let's be reasonable here. <laughs> Thank you, Romney. What? Three? There had better not be a fourth hiding back there. at all.
Okay, I think it's just the three of them. I don't know if you've heard of Starfinder, but that TTRPG seems like right up your alley, too. I have been a fan of Starfinder, technically, since before it came out. And I have PDFs of most of the early books, and I think a few of the more recent ones, too. Starfinder is fantastic. I was bitterly disappointed when um, Owlcat Games made the new Pathfinder game because I really think it's high time they get on their off their butts and make a Starfinder game. I think that would be just absolutely perfection. Alright, where is this? This looks familiar. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so this is the road back to the surface, then. Excellent. That sounds amazing, Pilatius. Rocked me right in the river. That's rude. Okay, that was not bad. That was pretty fun. Gotta say, overall, that was a better experience than the other modded location we've gone through which was a brief trip into sort of a, a new region added to the overworld in the game. It expanded on the reach and let you go down into the land of the, uh, what are they called, the Bretons. Now, to be clear, I'm not saying that that's a bad mod at all. It's yes, a pretty what? good mod. I found one of those ingredients I was looking for. Isn't that great? Fantastic, really. It was a really good mod. It's just that it was a little too obvious that it was not done to professional standards. Which, you know, it's a mod. You don't necessarily expect that. It's the kind of mod that I would expect a developer to look at and go, Huh, you know, these guys, they've definitely got the talent. They just maybe don't have the equipment and quite enough experience. So they would be pretty easy hires to work in the industry. Mostly the problem was with the uh, tuning of the mics. They sounded a little off and they sounded a little mismatched between actors and such. So, unfortunately, the thing with audio issues is audio tends to kill a presentation if it's bad. I'm really tempted to go to this one. Um, so I didn't stick around that area very long. But it was pretty impressive. I think this dungeon was maybe even better, though. Forgotten River Tomb. Yeah, I think this is probably another mod added location. Which is fine. Which is good. That's, uh... that last one's any indication, then it's probably a pretty decent place to go explore. Just finished watching bestsellers with Michael Caine and Aubrey Plaza. I've never heard of that one, but that sounds really cool. I always like anything Michael Caine is part of. At least so far. Alright guys, we are now after 4 in the morning, getting close to 4.30. I think we're going to get going. And once again, I apologize. I was so terrible 
at keeping up with the ads, I just realized I missed another one. I, I missed almost every single ad break tonight, so... That's... Ugh. I, I will try to do better tomorrow. I, I will try to do better tomorrow. We're going to get out of here, though, and we're going to go find somebody to raid, and I'm going to figure out my, what my schedule says about tomorrow night's stream, because I don't remember what we're going to be playing. Pop that up. Tomorrow. I don't have anything scheduled tomorrow, actually. I have Monday penciled in for... Uh, I have RimWorld penciled in for Monday. I don't have anything for Sunday. Maybe I'll check on the Discord, see if Lacrima can make it tomorrow. If she can, we might start V Rising, because that one is a crowd control game, and it's really good. Or at least it, it looks really good from what I've seen. I haven't actually played it yet myself. It'll be my first time. If she can't, we might start that next week. If she can, great. We'll do it tomorrow. And uh, if we don't end up playing that tomorrow, then... Oh, you know, if we can't, then... Maybe what we'll do is I still need to finish a Plague Tale Innocence. I remember your tip, Greeny. I'll see if I can do that. We might do that, finish that off, and then we'll do something else for the remainder of stream. So I'll give that some thought. Whatever it is, though, it's going to be a good time. So let me pull up my list of awesome streamer friends. Came out in 2021. Kane is an author. Plaza is his publisher. They go on a book tour. Oh, man. What streaming service is that on, Greeny? Is that Netflix or something? That sounds like something that I might enjoy. Thanks for streaming Braving the Wilds of Skyrim. My pleasure, JH. I'm having such a good time streaming Skyrim again. I played it off and on for most of the years of my streaming career, but then there was like a year or two where I just didn't touch it at all. And I gotta tell you, I missed it a lot. It's really, really good. It just holds up so well. I mean, the, the modding really helps with that a lot, of course. But it holds up even without. Looks like Pallet Box is playing some Metro Exodus tonight. Wow. Uh, Simcopter is playing American Truck Simulator. He may be winding down, though. Hard to tell from his thumbnail. He's not in the game. He may have just got from a, back from a break or be doing a little bit of chatting or something. I don't know, but uh, that's his game that he's in. He's in American Truck Simulator. Mandy is playing God of War Ragnarok. Lunity is also playing God of War Ragnarok. That's about it. Oh, actually, no, sorry, wrong. Blackstone of Legacy playing God of War, the first one, not Ragnarok. Hodon Kane is playing Warframe. I missed a few people. Then we had Pallet with Metro Exodus. Simcopter with ATS, American Truck Simulator. Mandy with Ragnarok. Lunity also with Ragnarok. And that was it. Okay. So if any of that grabs you uh, and uh, makes you want to go watch either the game or the streamer just let me know in chat i cannot guarantee that it will dictate where we go but it often does help me like it always influences where we go so apparently best sellers is on stars oh stars i have to check sometimes there's differences in canadian u.s content i i'm i want to say we sometimes have some stars content through disney plus i have to take a look you're thinking Pallet with Metro. I have all of the Metro games in one form or another. That's another series we could potentially end up playing through at some point. It's been a while since I've done a, like a relatively 
pure shooter type of thing. I think probably the last time was when I went through and did the Half-Life series. Which, actually, I, I never did the complete series, did I? We went through Black Mesa, then we did Half-Life 2, then I think we did Episodes 1 and 2. And then after that, we just went directly into the Portal series. So technically, I didn't actually play Half-Life 1. I did not play Blue Shift. I did not play Opposing Force. We might need to revisit those at some point, too. Those were really fun games to play through. My fire stick jumps around from app to app, so I never exactly know where I'm watching something from. That's fair, Greeny. That's pretty fair. I use Google TV through one of the, uh, the Google TV with Chromecast thingies. And so I always have a pretty like uh, a fair idea of where I'm watching stuff. I tend to use the apps more than just, you know, picking something and playing it. Um, All right, let's go with Palette. It's actually been a little bit since we've raided Palette. We've raided Lunity a lot recently. Always fun to raid her. She's really wonderful. And of course, we always spend a lot of time raiding Mandy. We'll go with Palette tonight. I do have a little bit of an ad. Let me get you Palette's link. Like, it'll suggest a movie. I see I can watch it, so I watch it. It just uses whatever I have to load it up. Honestly, that sounds really convenient, Greeny. That sounds pretty cool. I like that as a setup. Yes, actually, it is through Greeny Trini that we know Palette. So thank you, Greeny, for introducing us to an awesome new streamer. That is not Palette's link, bot. <laughs> Let me type it manually. That is Palette's link. All right, guys, we're going to go visit Palette. You got his link. Now you've got the raid comb. I think. There we go. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the Heart Emote and the Wave Emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you are not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid Emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, I do encourage you to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. You've got emotes of your own. If there are emotes from other Twitch streamers, if you've got maybe emotes from Twitch themselves that you like to use, please feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It will all be good in my book. So let's get over to Palette's channel, see how things are going with him. It's been a little bit since we visited him, so it'll be good to catch up. Um, so yeah, he's uh, doing some Metro. I think he's still doing some Metro. Yeah, it looks like he's still doing some Metro. So we'll get over there, see how Metro is going for him, and I will see you back here tomorrow night. Like I said, I'm not entirely certain yet what we're going to actually play tomorrow, but whatever it is, it's going to be a good time. So I'll hopefully catch you back here and over in Palette's channel in just a few moments. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now. It's not likely to explode very satisfactorily. So I don't think we have any choice. Oh! Never mind. Ah, oh, they have a fire. I can do some cooking. Um, oh, shoot.
Spider-Man! Oh. <laughs> Did you have an adventure? <laughs> oh, you almost gave Daddy a heart attack. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. <clears throat> uh, good work, other Spider-Man. Thanks. Yeah. Of course. I, that was completely an accident.